presented to you in the previous video the essential diagnosis to carry out and establish the feasibility of a reshoring. This was the upper part of our canvas. Now let's take action and discover the second part of the canvas. First possible action, bringing together suppliers, productions and sales. As an example, we can have a look at Kusmi tea. Kusmi tea is selling high-end teas and realizes more than two-thirds of its turnover in France. Certainly the tea leaves come from China, but the manufacture of metal cans has been reshored from China to France and the bagging from Morocco to France. Second action. Favor standard products, catalog products. While decades ago, the automotive was a tailor-made product, Henry Ford inaugurated the car sold in the catalog by mass producing the Ford T, one product. Any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants, as long as it's black. Obviously, today car catalogs are much larger, but we can no longer imagine buying a car different from those offered in the catalogue of manufacturers. Third possible avenue, decommoditization of the product. Casagin is an Italian underwear brand. Everything from the processing of the yarn to the dyeing is produced in Italy. The Made in Italy label is part of the value of what the customer is buying. In addition, materials are respecting the environment, natural and vegan. Casagin is a very good example of decommoditization applied to a very common product. Fourth option, hunting inactive inventories. Driven by Toyota for 30 years, car manufacturers have organized their productions to reduce lead times. That is to say, the time spent in the factory, on the production line, but also in stocks. The shorter this time, the more flexible we are, the less capital is tied up. In the same vein, the fifth possibility is to adjust stocks. So we saw L'Oréal immobilizes 13 months of its turnover, while the automotive industry is twice as efficient. Valeo immobilizes only 7 months of its turnover and Peugeot Citroën only 6 months. Six possibility. Any product even a very high-end one, should use standard and multi-supplier components as much as possible. Even Ferrari does not use special screws and special bolts. Seventh track, differentiate as late as possible. Take the example of a dryer. Compare several models issued for the same factory but branded differently. The only differences are the control panel and the front panel, which are the latest parts assembled before packing the product for shipping. Next track. Create and above all, apply a design standard. IKEA, beyond having deported the assembly of the furniture to its customer and thus drastically reduced the cost of assembly, packaging and transport, achieve a huge work to standardize its exceptional design. All diameters, assembly parts, minimum tools to make the kits we buy, and so on and so on. Standardizing the design is a very productive investment in the medium term. Ninth and last possibility of action, perhaps the most fundamental, take advantage of reshoring to reduce costs. All products, regardless of their technology and the age of the design, can be obtained at lower cost, without compromising quality, without compromising the attractiveness to customers. For example, very high performance, very sharp professional products integrate connectors used in mobile telecommunications. We hope you enjoy discovering our reshoring canvas and we suggest if you haven't done so yet, download it.